Alright, uh, Shalom on my account. When I uh, give all praises on the glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekakodash, the blinds of the elders and apostles, the great males, starting to rule well. And much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopefully elect throughout the four winds, pushing his truth and sincerity and diligence. All right, uh, it's Brother Lord Yah from the Great Millstone Lake Charles, Louisiana Camp, coming back again with another brief blessing. And as always, Lord will it be edifying to the elect. All right, and just want to go into the topic of, uh, you know, us being balanced in this walk of ours, man. Because, uh, you know, it tells you that in the book of Ephesians, man, uh, prior to coming into this truth, you know, and being woken up, man, we were, we, we were unbalanced. You know, we were totally unbalanced, man. We were, were desiring the lust of the flesh, man, going in and being entangled with, with the affairs of this uh, this world, man, this present life, you know. And we come into this truth, man, we understand that ultimately the whole duty of man is to do the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, all right? That's that's the whole duty, man. That's where our, our focus should be on, you know, primarily. And, uh, you know, yeah, we have to uh, go with everyday life, you know, but that, that shouldn't stop our, uh, uh, our you know, our, our focus to become cloudy, all right? So uh, with that, man, this is Sirach 37 and 25, because ultimately everything around us is, is put here for distraction and to uh, knock us off that path of ours, all right? And the scripture tell you that with uh, excess of anything, you know, it is it, 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 uh ultimately can destroy you you know excess of anything could could uh destroy you man whether it be uh too much uh drinking man uh too uh, even uh, uh too the scripture tell you what uh too much studying is where uh, uh where weariness of the flesh man you know but ultimately the lord looks for a, a great balance man all right so this is a rock 37 verse 25 it says the days of the of the life of man may be numbered so like it. uh verse 27 <laughs> it says my son prove thy soul in thy life and see what is evil for it but it says prove thy soul all right my son prove thy soul in thy life and see what is evil for it and give not that unto it man because you have a lot of things that's that's here ultimately to destroy us you know and ultimately, you know, when we come into this truth, Satan is, is going to play up on that, man, because Satan knows us just as well as, as we know ourselves, man. You know, I want to get into that word prove. All right. And I'll get into the uh, I'll get it in the uh, etymology online and then I'll get in the blue letter. All right. Because it's another in particular scripture, you know, I like to go into. All right. It says to try or to test, you know, so we have to test our own selves, man. It says evaluate. So look uh, upon yourself and how you maneuver thoroughly okay it says put to the test uh to make good and ultimately the lord is going to do this <laughs> the lord is going to do this by having what us being put in that fire all right it says to esteem to represent as good to represent as good all right so we're basically uh, uh going through this fire this fiery trial for it to be set in stone all right or, or basically to be, uh, be known you know that that uh we're worthy man all right and that we're not like everyone else in the world all right it says to make credible to show to demonstrate to judge by trial all right because this this life of ours ultimately uh you know at this point is a fiery trial man you know strange things are, uh, are gonna happen to us but ultimately it's to get those impurities out of us all right it says to be worthy good upright a virtuous being in front all right uh it says to be uh be proven all right to found to be proven man and that's what uh this walk is is ultimately uh, about man to be proven that we're worthy man and that we're not like our old selves all right because the scriptures tell us that well, we're subject to being transformed and converted to new creatures so if we're new uh, uh creatures man all of those old ways are gonna totally be uh, uh diminished man they're subject to being uh vanished away from how we maneuver in this truth all right this is second corinthians chapter 13 and verse 5 all right it says examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith prove your own selves know ye not your own selves all right because we know our ourselves personally more than anybody else man you know we know uh, our true weaknesses we we know what uh, uh causes us to fall all right we we know uh, uh what motivates us man all right it says how that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates, because if Yahweh Shah's spirit is uh uh dwells in us, man, 
you know we're gonna be found with that fake we're gonna be found uh, uh worthy man all right let's go into this word prove all right real quick this is the greek word for prove strong's g 1381 dakimazo 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 all right it says to test to examine to prove to scrutinize so every day man we're subject to uh, uh what man putting a magnifying glass over ourselves all right it says to see whether a thing is genuine or not <laughs> you see because we know of uh, uh what how about shimmy out shot hates fakes man you know it says to try as metals and we're subject to becoming as what that that, that fine gold man all right that's why it tells you in uh, uh first uh, is it what first corinthians 3 and 13 every man's work shall be made manifest all right but now is the time to actually put that to the test man all right now is the time to be uh, uh built up man so that when that 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 great that that last great fire hits us hey man we're, we're gonna go right through it all right this is first corinthians 3 and 13 it says every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is going back to what uh the distinguishing between those metals all right uh let me see it should it should go into that um stubble you know what i'm gonna start at verse 12. it says now if any man build upon this foundation gold silver precious stones wood hay stubble you see that that goes into all of uh, uh, those different sorts man it's gonna be no known what you are man we we know what fire does to uh to, to hay and stubble man you know you're not even gonna be a uh, a uh, 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 little bit of worthy man you know you're gonna easily be uh vanished away once that fire hit it but we're subject to being that that that, that fine gold man all right lord willing through the spirit and power y'all by shimmy Shah. it says to recognize as genuine after examination to approve or to deem worthy man and the only way we can be deemed worthy is if we're walking a, a, a balanced life man all right we have to be a, a balanced in this truth man all right real quick this is proverbs chapter 20 in, in verse 23 it says diverse weights are an abomination unto you how about shot and a false balance is not good you see a false balance is not uh, gonna benefit you anything man because uh, uh the scriptures tell you that what uh, no man can serve two masters man you know so ultimately we're we're subject all right to totally being on the side with your how about shimmy out shot not letting anything interfere with that okay uh, uh not not women uh, uh not not drinking man not uh hell that we're catching all right nothing should put us in a state of not doing the will of your how about shimmy out shot all right Real quick. This is a uh, Sirach 37 and 30. It says, For excess of meats bring sickness, and sulfuritin will turn into chala. You see? Excess of meats, man, going into different doctrines. You know? Excess of anything uh, ultimately isn't good for you, man. You know? That's why the scripture tells us to what be sober, be vigilant, man. All right. Real quick, this is First Peter chapter four and verse three, going into you know how we we did it. All right, that's that's how we used to be unbalanced in the world. All right, we used to be unbalanced in the world, man. And, and what everything, you know, just thinking that everything was cool. You you sober up the next morning, and everything will be all all, all good, man. Then you go back to doing the same thing. You know, you you can uh, 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 basically had that illusion of free will, man. You know, and ultimately, when you come into this truth, you understand that this is a walk of discipline. You know, not only faith and patience, but look, look, <laughs> be patient and receive joy at the end. You see, having that that, that great uh, diligence, man. All right, and that uh, discipline. So this is First Peter chapter four and verse three. It says, "For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles." You see, so we used to do all of these things and be unbalanced in the world. It says, "When we walked in lasciviousness, lust." excess of wine revelings banquetings and abominable idolatries wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot speaking evil of you you see 
And this is going to two thirds, man. How they look at us and think that uh, uh, by us uh, scrutinizing, scrutinizing ourselves to be become better, you know, they they say that we basically going off, man. They think that we're distra- in distress, man. You know, but the scriptures tell you that what what a great excess, man, can destroy you. All right, you have excess in anything, man. It, it can destroy you, and, and now ultimately, it's not the uh, time to be indulged. And, and too much anything outside of this this truth, man. You know, this is Sirach, and just touching upon liquor real quick, man. This is uh, uh Ecclesiastes or Sirach thirty one and twenty nine. It says, "But wine, drunken with excess, make it bitterness of mind." So you you basically uh, uh can't even think straight, man. All right. It says we're brawling and quarreling. So next thing you know, man, you you in the spirit of wanting to fight, man. You know. But what if we're uh, keeping it that righteous balance, man? Hey, you're gonna have your little buzz, you know? You're gonna kick it with the brothers, man. All right, you you gonna uh, uh, be hastening the day, man. Just hey, man, wh- wh- whatever you like to do, man. You know? I just, just chilling outside, man. Hey, hey, looking up at the chariots and hey, man, call up on your how about shimmy outside, man? That's that's that righteous balance, man. All right, uploading the videos, going on the highways and hedges, man. Making sure uh your, your house is in uh in order, you know, that's that great balance, man. Because w- without the great balance, man, we can't we can't truly say that we serve you by Shimmy Al Shah, you know. The scriptures say what well, a false balance is abomination to the Lord, man, you know. So with that, uh, you know, I just I'm gonna get one more. I'm gonna get one more. Salaki. It's Ephesians five and eighteen. It says, and be not drunken with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Because what, if, if we're walking in the spirit, man, we're not uh, fulfilling the lust of the flesh, you know? Verse 19, I want to get this point too, because this is what King David did, man. This is what King David did to make sure that he was in a, uh, in, in a good spirit, man. It says, speaking to yourselves in psalms, in hymns, in spiritual songs, you know, re- what, reading these scriptures, man, you know, calling upon Yahweh Hashem Yahashah, it says, singing and making melody in your heart or in your mind to the Lord. Give it thanks always for all things unto the power and the Father in the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of Yahweh Bashim Shah. You know, so this is what's ultimately going to keep us balanced, man. Because just thinking upon uh, what Yahu, the name of Yahweh Bashim Shah, man, you know, just thinking upon the name of Yahweh Bashim Shah allows us to uh, walk a great walk, man, because we know that the Lord is watching. You know, scripture tell you that what the Lord don't hear the prayers of sinners, man. So we got to be doing what we got to do in order to be heard, you know, and it all comes with being a uh, uh, balance, man. All right. You're not about to go the whole day without talking to the Lord, man. If you <laughs> if you are, that's not being in the right spirit, you know. So with that, man, you know, Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to give all praises on and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Rechakodash. That will answer the elders and apostles of great mills on the real well. And must peace, safety, and blessings to hopefully elect throughout the four winds, pushing this truth and sincerity and diligence. Till next time, shalom.